satellite data and how it's currently used um, within the city or the local government context um, is provide can provide or has the potential to provide uh, benefits to the, how a city is run and on a very efficient basis. If we were to look, for example, at the area of, of cities of the future and the Internet of Things or the Internet of Everything, where the idea is that there will be thousands or millions of sensors and devices all reporting. That represents a tremendous opportunity for the space industry because space is very good at both collecting data and disseminating it. But it's also a big challenge as to whether the space industry can in fact get integrated into those systems or whether it will be always an outsider saying sort of, me too. As the industry advances and you hear about these large constellations that are being put in space or being um, discussed and developed, you're going to be able to have coverage in places that you previously had, had not coverage, whether that be when you're out in the middle of the forest taking a hike um, and there's no cell phone towers, whether you're in a city and it's um, crowded and there's buildings and getting in the way, you're going to start to see a lot less of that kind of outage because of uh, satellite-enabled communications. Uh, autonomous vehicles is a great example of this where they will be inherently reliant on a satellite service like GPS to navigate themselves around the, uh, with the cities, uh, but also they require uh, connectivity so that we can report back where they are, how they're progressing, whether or not there's a problem on the platform. Um, we can use the, the mobile telephone networks, we can use open wireless hotspots, but those are uh, patchy sometimes, particularly in urban areas. So satellite systems can provide a, uh, a robustness and a fallback and a, uh, an extra level of capability 